Now, a second wave has officially hit parts of the country and government has warned against complacency, especially at so-called COVID-19 super spreaders like beaches, taverns, as well as pubs. But with the festive season kicking in, there are provinces like Limpopo, which have a lower number of active coronavirus cases. The province has just over 19,000 cases, which only make up 2.3% of the country's total. Now, the question is, how will the spread of the virus be controlled during the holidays? For more on this, I'm joined by the Limpopo Health MEC, Dr. Popi Ramatuba. Uh, MEC, good to have you with us this afternoon. First and foremost, um, if you look at the statistics and you're looking at the numbers for Lipopo, really very impressive in comparison to the rest of the country. You, in the last 24 hours, uh, reported just 27 uh, new cases. What do you attribute this low number to? Uh, the, the collective efforts by the Provincial Command Council uh, where in all the sectors, not only the Department of Health, but all the member of Executive Council in their different sectors, they have been working hard, of course, led by the, the Premier towards making sure that as the lead department, when we come with strategies, everyone rally behind our strategies, the municipalities and even communities and civil society and every board. But of course, uh, we can't be excited. Uh, the honeymoon will soon be over. As you know that Limpopo is in for tourism, uh, moving towards festive season. We are anticipating a number of people coming to visit our province as, the, as tourists. Uh, because we, in, in terms of our economy, uh, tourism is one of those uh, pillars towards uh, the economic growth of our province. And secondly, most of our people, uh, young people, are currently outside the province, in Gauteng, in Western Cape, in KZN, and uh, for economic and job opportunities, because they are still young and they are working there. So basically, festive season as they approach, they will be coming back home to visit their loved ones, their family. So hence, I'm saying very soon, the, the honeymoon will be over. Uh, unless our people continue to comply to the messages that we have been uh, continuously uh, sharing with them. MEC, you've highlighted the concerns that you have. And yes, it is festive season. Limpopo is a tourist destination. A lot of people will be moving from elsewhere in the, in the country, going back home as well. How are you going to ensure that the people don't move with the COVID-19 and that there isn't a rampant spread uh, of COVID-19 in, in your province? This time around, we are going to do things uh, differently. Our main focus is it's currently empowering the, the villagers themselves, people in the deep rural areas, to make sure that they protect themselves. Uh, this time around, we are saying we can't stop people from moving from uh, Gauteng or from Eastern Cape to come to the province. We will, however, working with the Department of Community Safety, we will be busy on different roadblocks, not just checking for your cars, roadworthy, but as a health, we will be screening you also not only for COVID, but even for other comorbidities, your diabetes, your hypertension, we'll be doing that in our different roads. We've already started that work. You will see us on different, especially the main roads, we will continue to, to do that work. And secondly, besides being on the road and our visibilities as health officials, we, will, we are currently through our community health care uh, uh, workers and, and our response team comprising of nurses and pro uh, professional nurses and doctors. We are doing what we call door to door, wherein we are empowering our senior citizens, those who are vulnerable, to say, when your child comes back from a uh, work in Gauteng, don't be too excited and give her or him a hug and be excited uh, to say they are back. And also, as young people who are coming to visit our mother-in-law, let's not be too complacent, too excited to say, I want to prepare the meals. We should treat ourselves as if we are positive. And we should make sure that we are wearing masks at all times when we come closer to this, uh, uh, those who have been remaining 
in those villages. We must make sure we wash our hands with water and soap before we even serve them that food. And we must serve them food wearing those masks. So we are teaching our senior citizen. And I'm glad that elderly people, when you go around funerals and you go around social uh, family gatherings, they are very strict to say, we have heard uh, the NEC says, don't come closer to me without wearing a mask, even if you are my grandchild, even if you are my son. At least after 10 days, you would have been with me and then I can come closer to you. We just have to sacrifice for the sake of us to see each other come January. So that is the work that we are currently doing as a province. So to make a sure doctor... that we prevent uh, the, the spread because truly... Well, thank you very much, um, MEC Dr. Popi Ramatuba. There's certainly a lot of education that has gone into ensuring that uh, residents in Limpopo remain safe during this festive season. If you're looking at our numbers right now, over 8,000 uh, new cases, 8,166 to be exact, are the number of new cases that have been reported uh, on Thursday, which was yesterday. And with uh, Limpopo accounting only for 27 of those, you can see uh, that certainly that is not a problem area right now, but come the festive season, people going home, uh, those results might look very different uh, come January.